fry yay it is fry yay 4 30 friday afternoon 27th of september 2019. to all of you who are in melbourne having your fabulous public holiday on account of a football grand final uh congratulations have a wonderful day may the best team win i am expecting that team will be gws ha 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 we have an amazing weekend of sport here in Australia. If you're not a sports fan, too bad. You're going to have a really boring weekend. I, on the other hand, have one coat of football tonight, another coat of football tomorrow night, and a third coat of football on Sunday. Seriously, I am going to be probably looking like my couch come Sunday night. Ha <laughs> ha! Linda Mottram, hello. I can see there are three people here, but I can't see who they all are, but that's all cool. Uh, it is such a pleasure to be with you today. I was brave yesterday. I I could feel a migraine coming on. And for those of you who live with them, you know when those signs are coming on. So I went, okay, I usually push through. And the last couple of times I've pushed through, it hasn't been good for me. So I cancelled the rest of my afternoon and put myself to sleep. I should put myself to bed. And I slept solidly without pain meds and slept slept it off which is obviously what needed to happen so i've been up today i haven't been feeling a hundred percent there's something a bit f funny going on with my head but we'll sort that out and um i went to yoga this morning which was spectacular and wonderful although i did want to kill somebody at some stage because yoga can elicit that feeling uh, i went and had a coffee and then i have been really diligent with what we've been doing here in the office this afternoon linda mottram you are celebrating the fact that it's school holidays i had totally forgotten about the fact that school holidays were coming Ha! Ah, that changes the way transport operates here in sydney i don't live my terms my life by school terms anymore and it's it's amazing how quickly that gets out of your system ha ah. So I'm celebrating myself that I actually listened to what my body needed yesterday and I said, I am going to listen to you body because when I try and push you around, you don't really like it that much at the moment. And um, yeah, been pretty, I've written a whole heap of blog posts. Well, I've written two really big blog posts today. Uh, worked on some great client results. Oh, we need to celebrate that. Oh, so it's a Friday afternoon. And I don't generally like doing clinical work on a Friday. I feel like I need to catch up, but it's the end of the month, which is significant for anybody who works in the rehab industry. We all have reporting that we need to do at the end of the month. So I'm like, ah, that's next week. I better make sure all my rehab clients are doing okay. This afternoon, Purple Co has two brand new employed clients. Both young men, both young men with brain injuries, both young men who wanted to do it on their own. And we have been assisting and serving them do this for quite an amount of time. I am so freaking proud of these clients and for the way we as a service have gotten behind them and helped them and supported them. And I am just over the moon for both of these young men. It has been a long time coming, um, but they have stuck it out. They have trusted in the process. They have learned and developed. They have allowed me to challenge their unhelpful communication styles and their completely inappropriate language they use at times. But we've got there. They've both had job offers. I'm talking to one of them after this call because he couldn't speak to me earlier because he's actually already started work. And for him, this is not just a job. This is the start of his career. And my expectation is with the other gentleman who wasn't able to speak to me this afternoon that this is his first step in his career job as well. So that is exciting. That doesn't mean our work at Purple Co finishes. In fact, we've got a whole heap of new learning that comes for these clients. We need to help them with their social and emotional intelligence cues, how to manage any symptoms that they've got ongoing, how to manage this new thing in their life, especially if they're dealing with uh, brain injury fatigue or cognitive fatigue. So our work doesn't stop. In fact, it starts again and, and we get to start doing some other more interesting things for them at a whole new point in time. Carol, it is so lovely to see you. Beck Harnett, I hope you hear this because you've contributed to this. Woohoo! Yay, Purple Co! Excited! Whew. What else are people celebrating? Carol, what are you celebrating this week? Beck, what are you celebrating this week? 
Other things I am celebrating is, gosh, we have some phenomenal business opportunities in Purple Co coming up. I am over overwhelmed, but not in the anxious way. Overwhelmed as in, a, oh my Lord, this is what happens if you keep going kind of way where we've got people chasing us down, wanting to partner with us, asking us for our opinion, asking us if we can execute, asking us how we can help. I had a phone call from this gorgeous lady today and she uh, she called me a couple of times and was leaving quite obscure messages on my voicemail. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to call her back. I don't want to cause a problem. Anyway, I, I got her on the phone today and um, I just asked her the question, how, how did you find out about me? How did you know to call me? And she said, I have been following you for years and you are the person who can help me with this problem. And it was such a delight. She's an, she's an older lady. She's well into her 60s. She's got a new lease on life, a new career happening. And we just I just gave her some simple tips on how she can go and um, look for more meaningful employment than what she's been doing for the time being, which I just, I just think that's fabulous. That's worth celebrating. I don't want to be 60 and not working. I want to be out there changing lives and making things happen, which I have a feeling I will be doing as well. I've had a blog post written today for Purple Co for next week, a blog post uh, written for Joe Muirhead Beck. You're celebrating school holidays as well. Excellent. And oh, you've had a private client book. Oh, high five. High five you. I am celebrating Sophie today. She has been tenacious. She has all year been going, Joe, I really want to increase my knowledge and skills around the um, uh, platforms that we use for online marketing. So that's WordPress and Active Campaign. And then there are things called widgets and plugins that I've seriously shut down and not talking right now. Uh, sorry, not listening. I could talk, but I won't be listening. And um, we engaged the services of the fabulous Debbie Eglin today. And she's been training. So and Sophie has just stuck at it, stuck at it, stuck at it stuck at it and she's been working on stuff and it is awesome. So next week I am expecting that you will be able to buy one of a very few limited edition books of evidence. There you go. You have to watch the video to find out about that offer. So we're still working on the sales page because I'm making sure Sophie's got that tight and feels good about what she's done there because I don't want to learn how. But you will be able to purchase a book of evidence, a brand new print run being done. But I'm only doing a small print run so there won't be too many copies. So anyone in the US who wants to purchase a copy and does not want to pay for shipping, I'll be in LA in October. I'm happy to bring it in an extra carry-on suitcase because, you know, Qantas loves me and I'm wrong because you know I downward dog a lot. Carol, oh you've got contracts going and new offices going forward as well. That's fantastic. You've got lots of things about amazing uh, going on, referrals happening. Oh that's so great to see. Oh your health must have improved out of sight for this to be happening again. That is fantastic. Wowzers, what a great week to celebrate. Won't go back over all the sports uh, information because that's probably going to bore many of you, but I'll be excited this weekend watching all of the sport. Um, there we go. So it's the week that was. Congratulations for all of the clients that you've been able to serve. You have done an incredible job. And if you're feeling a bit lackluster and not so good about yourself, then could you please, please take some time this weekend to do something kind for you? No more beating yourself up, but do something kind for you. I'm actually going to spend as much time as I can in the garden because that's my happy place. And I've booked myself into a two hour yoga workshop tomorrow on restorative yoga practices. So I will probably sleep very, very well after I've done that. Uh, I know that I need to be looking for the ways that my body responds to being cared for, not just the way I think my body wants to be cared for. Bring on the BBL. <laughs> And Beck's going, yes, thank you for the lack of sports report. Ah, oh, Beck. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that for Monday. All right, this weekend, please make sure you take some time to replenish, spend time with those that you love. Let them know how much you love them because we want you turning up next week ready, ready to go, full of vigor, full of excitement, full of enthusiasm, and full of the goodness that we bring into our clients' lives because without us, lives aren't going to change. We give people their lives back. We better take that seriously. 
So until next week, go be your awesome self.